had I talked myself into making this video. But uh, it's been a while. As those of you who watch likely already know. And there's a good reason for that. I've just pretty much been I've been enjoying the journey inward, so to say. I've been I've just been in a very contemplative state lately in the last few months particularly. And uh, a lot of things, a lot of noteworthy things have happened, particularly regarding my uh, my spiritual awareness, the enfoldment of my spirituality, primarily, which is really, I see it as the backbone, the foundation of my life. In other words, if I didn't have a spiritual backbone, a spiritual foundation, life would just be kind of a waste of time. For me anyway at this point and uh, yeah that's pretty much it just been in a contemplative mode recently some of you may have noticed I deleted all my old videos I just didn't resonate with them anymore I, I don't resonate with them anymore I should say and I feel like they serve their purpose you know they serve their purpose and that's that you know I just want to I want to turn the chapter I want to turn the turn to a new chapter turn the page and just move on with my life start fresh you know and regardless of whether or not you all believe this, I'm, I just surpassed the nine day mark of, of a dry fast. So you could probably tell by my voice that I've been dry fasting. I just, as of this afternoon, it's been nine full days. So I'm actually into my 10th day, my 10th full day. I'm into my 10th full day. I completed nine full days. It originally just started out as a three day. And then I said, you know what, I'll go five. And then I said, you know what, I'll go seven. And then I said, hey, you know what, I came this far, I'm already this far into it. I might as well go nine. Nine's a good number for those of you who study numerology. Uh, nine is a good number. So I thought about going 10, but I'm just suck I'm, I'm just over it, you know. I could go 10. I feel surprisingly strong and alert. I mean, I could probably drop down and do like 20 push-ups right now if I wanted to. And the key I found out with a dry fast is just the breath. The breath is the backbone, you know? The breath is the backbone anyway, regardless, but particularly when you're dry fasting because you don't you're not you're not swallowing, you're not ingesting any fluids or food obviously. So, I'm not going to make this video long cuz I don't feel like talking very much. So, I'm going to break the fast very shortly. I'll show you what I'm breaking it with. It's basically just going to be out of the master fast system. For those of you who know what that is, it's going to be, uh, I believe it's called the, uh, the, uh, the bubbly or the champagne. <sighs> Mosquitoes over here. But uh, the champagne, it's basically just grape juice, lemon juice, Baking soda, try to get aluminum free, obviously, uh, which is sodium bicarbonate. Baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, just very alkaline. Um, and apple cider vinegar, raw, unfiltered, unpasteurized apple cider vinegar. Or what I might use actually is uh, coconut vinegar. I do have some coconut vinegar that is also raw and unpasteurized. So I might use that just because I have it laying around and just to try something new. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for now. <sighs> Taking a break off social media really did uh, really did a lot of good for me. And social media is an, an excellent tool. It really, really is. But it's also just a lot of circle jerking. You know, <laughs> it's a lot of circle jerking, and it's just a lot of. Uh, what's the word, like catharsis, you know, like just wasting time. People are just killing time. People are constantly, the, the mind, they can't get away from the mind because it's constantly thinking. And so instead of them going absolutely insane, they just distract themselves or they numb themselves. There's a better way to go about things. I can, I can promise you that. But, um, geez, anyway, I've spoken long enough. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm breaking my fast with. And after I break my fast, I'm going to uh, probably do an enema, 
two or three hours later, a couple hours. And then, yeah, that'll be it. Just a short one for you guys. I hope you're all doing well. And, yeah, I'll talk to you real soon. Peace. Hey, guys, just a quick one. Just got out of the shower, nice and cold. Cold shower, cold water therapy, as it's often called. Really, really spectacular when you're fasting, particularly when you're dry fasting, but really for any type of fasting, I would say. But anyway, so getting ready to break the fast. It's about that time. This is the recipe for the champagne recipe for the master fast system meant to be used when breaking a dry fast or when beginning a dry fast longer than 24 hours. So the ingredients are as follows, pretty simple. A cup of Concord grape juice, these are the ratios. One cup of Concord grape juice, juice of one lemon, I'm gonna use two because I'm just naughty like that. About a teaspoon of baking soda. One or two tablespoons of organic uh, raw apple cider vinegar. I also have this uh, raw coconut vinegar, which I'm probably gonna use instead. Uh, just try something new, you know. It has a nice, for those of you who haven't tried it, it's got a nice flavor compared to the apple cider vinegar. It's more mild, it's not quite as pungent, and it has a, a bit of a sweetness to it almost, like a, kind of like a wine, a winey wine type flavor. But yeah, anyway, pretty straightforward. Those are the ingredients. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when it's in there. All right, so that's the final product. That's the Master Fast Bubbly or Champagne. And I am going to enjoy this very much. I got a little glass straw here. Gonna take it right out of the bowl. I'm not gonna break the fast on camera just because I wanna do it. I wanna enjoy this moment in solitude. I knew you guys would respect that and appreciate that. And then after this, um, I'm probably gonna have some, some herbal tea here, some kidney tea. That's brewing away. I'm gonna brew that, let it cool down, and then I got some uh, some more strained lemon juice here. I'm gonna mix into the tea, and then after that, I'm going to take an enema with some herbal tea that I prepared. I prepared yesterday. Pretty much the same thing. It's a kidney tea. I'm also gonna mix lemon into that, and that's pretty much it, guys. I will uh, make videos more regularly from now on. I can't say it's gonna be like every day. Um, but as often as I can and as always leave any questions you have in the comments down below um, And I'll do my best to answer them all in a future video a soon-to-come video That's it for now guys. Love you all. Hope you're all doing well. I'm doing well. I'm doing very well I'm doing about as well as I've ever been so Anyway, that's really it. I will talk to you soon Peace.